It's your boy Noto coming to another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to discuss how being a handsome select man can be very dangerous, guys. It could be very dangerous, guys. If you're new here or you've already been here, go ahead and click that like button, go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go on and dive into this topic, guys. Let's dive. Now, for those that don't, that don't even know it, for those that already don't know that I am from Jacksonville, Florida, I live, born and raised in Jacksonville, Florida, Duval County, guys. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. A lot of guys already know, oh, man, know the way you're from, bro. That's where I'm from. But anyway, and then they have a, a whole lot of instances. But anyway, on this particular night, man, I actually decided to drip down. I actually started to, to drip up. I'm going to tell y'all the story. I'm, I, just, I actually decided to drip up. I'm on chilling with my homie. It was my homie and my uh girl, uh my girl best friend, whatever you want to call her, my girl best friend. That's why I'm putting my video of why females make the best wingman. She was definitely a really, really good wingman, uh, for real, straight up. Now, we all uh, head to this club called The Real Team. You know, we always go to this club. I, 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 I didn't mention this club a, a bunch of times, but The Real Team is a really, really fun club. It, it has Jamaican nights, they have regular nights. But anyway, we was going in, I'm dripped up. I'm talking about like I had a, I don't know, I had like a, I had a good fit on. I forgot what I had on it. I ain't gonna even lie, I, I forgot what I had on. I just know it was like a black jean and and black shoe kind of combo or whatever. But you know, I, like I always, I always do my 100 push-ups before I leave. And before the night over with, I always end up taking off my shirt, you know, whatever, and have my tank top on. But anyway, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to all that. So we get to the line. We're chilling. We noticed these guys coming up, right? We noticed these guys. Like, they was kind of they was kind of turned up because we know we're coming to the line. So, But the but we came a little later because we go to another club, the pregame. So once we came back from that club, we ended up we ended up going to this club. We go to this club called uh, Kelly's before we uh, will leave. And then we'll leave and go to the real team after that because the real team stay open like to about 4, 4 30, damn near 5. So we'll probably leave Kelly's around like probably 12 or 1 and then head over there because after that. So I'm chilling because you understand. But uh, friend, the best friend, she's a really, really pretty girl. She's really pretty. She's, she's thick as hell and she's pretty much what you would consider a bad bitch. Seriously, you <laughs> consider a bad bitch. So we noticed that we went up to this. So the real team line, it was real long. We noticed it was swole because we always drive right by there and we, we we take a look at, you know, how it's looking outside before we go up there, right? So then we go and drive around to these, you know, because they got a lot of one-way streets on the downtown. So we got to go around to find a parking spot, you know, on the side of the road. Although we, we ain't got to use no meters at night because they don't be on or whatever. Ain't nobody going to get told. Might Somebody might try to break in your shit, though. But <laughs> you better lock your doors, though. Don't play. Do what? Hey, man, stop playing. Anyway. We went there, right? We noticed it was these three guys while we was walking up. Because, you know, we could walk up the side. While we noticed these three guys was acting kind of kind of pushy. You know, because, like, we was in line. But they, they tried to talk to my, uh, to my friend, right? So she, like, she was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. She was kind of entertaining. But, like, not, just, just to kind of make the time go back. Because we was in line for a while. People, they were trying to get people to go through the express line. You know, they'll hold up the line acting like the, the club is full capacity. So they can get as many people in that bitch paying it through the express line, double the pay if they can. And once they notice that shit ain't working, then they start letting people go through the regular line. So everybody was, the regular line was swollen as hell. You had a few stragglers going around. But anyway, they was pushy. Put, you know, you could tell they was kind of turned up. You see what I'm saying? You could tell they was a little on a drunk end. They was, turn, whatever the fuck they was on, they was on some shit. So there was a little, you know, a little whatever. But then I noticed these, uh, these, uh, three, these three females came on the side, right? And they was talking to the dudes or whatever. So I'm guessing they came there with the dudes, but they started going through the express line. So I'm like, okay, that's, I guess that's re reassurance. I'm looking at, okay, whatever. But, you know, they weren't really pushing no lines or nothing, but I could tell something was up. Cause they, one of the dudes was kind of pushy, but he wasn't. You know, that's, that's kind of like the regular way when a dude trying to talk to a girl, but they ain't really, they ain't really getting nowhere, but they still trying to try. It was something like that. It wasn't like no threatening shit that I felt like I had to step in. So I, ain't, I wasn't alarmed at that point in time. But I did notice another, the other guys were kind of looking. There was a, another two guys was kind of looking at me and my boy, but they was kind of like, I don't know. It was like a, it was like a slight meme mug. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a real, like a, like a derby mug, but it was looking like a, 
You know what I'm saying? Like a little shit, like, okay, it's a little smoke. But you know me, because back in the day when I was drinking, I was I was kind of a hothead too. So I always used to, I, 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 had, to try, I had to chill and calm down. I was kind of like a pit bull. I used to fight for my best friend a lot. So whenever she used to get into shit, I used to walk up and just smack niggas straight up. But anyway, that was the reason why I like a lot of things go on. Anyway, we went downstairs, right? So it ended up, they was hanging out on the other side of the club, but we was hanging out on this side. They was hanging out on this side, right? But you can look across the dance floor at each other type shit with all the little dads and lights, the little, little Blu-rays, whatever. So I noticed, see, one thing about my, my female best friend was she always would go and recruit girls to come dance with us and shit like that. And that's why I was like to the point where we didn't even have to do nothing. All the girls, all she did was just, and the dude, she broke the ice for us, pretty much. She always broke the ice for us. But the thing was, she went over, but she didn't really have to do much. The girls was already looking at us, and they was kind of already looking at it. Because remember, I always went, and at the real thing, I went to take my uh, shirt off, and I put my shit behind the speaker after I went and got my drink, got comfortable, or whatever. So I'm in my tank top at this point. We chilling, uh, we chilling, we turned up, songs going on, we know, uh, we turned it on, hey, you know, man, I'm moving, I got in my sweat, hey, you need to turn me up, whatever, God, uh, whatever, whatever we were listening to, turning up at them, bitch, whatever, right? So, man, we, we, we chilling on the other side, right? She over the dance or whatever. The dudes end up coming over. Well, I guess one of the dudes that was being um, pushy kind of came over there and tried to dance with her a little bit. But she wasn't really having it, so she kind of kind of scooted off. And he kind of just went on about his way or whatever. But the thing is, those girls started looking at us when we started turning up. Like, we was, like, turning up for real, for real. Like, we were just chilling. Turn, all right, that's when the time when the drink was starting to really, really kick in for me because we didn't pregame remember at Kelly's. But now everything is starting to hit at the same time. So I'm just in that bitch doing... Acting a dog. I was swinging, you know, I'm pumped, you know, because I did my 100 push ups. I always do that shit. So, whatever. I'm looking good as a motherfucker up in that bitch. Anyway, they start coming over that motherfucker and, and looking at, and they come over there looking at me and, and like, oh my goodness. Like, I was like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Because we were sitting around the other, on the other side, right? Right? Because we had other girls coming over there. But the reason I said, what the fuck is going on? It's because they was over there with those guys, but I'm like, why the fuck are they just keep looking right at us? They looking right at us. And my brother can, <laughs> can attest to this, like, for real. Like, I'm like, they sitting up, didn't they come there with them? Because they were hanging out with those three guys. Remember I told you about that earlier? And they came past the express line, so they knew each other something. I don't know if they called each other to meet up there or whatever, but I'm like, what the fuck going on? Because she, like, every time I look over there, she glancing and glancing, dancing and whatever, trying to catch eye contact type shit. So what happened was, my friend had to end up catching on to that shit because she, she real good with that shit. She ended up going over there to recruit them and she ended up bringing them over. So she, did, she was real good at that because she, you know, you know what I'm saying? Bad bitches like to be around other bad bitches, especially thick bitches because, you know, they like to slap each other's ass and all that shit. So, yeah, she, she good with that. She pff, supreme with that. Supreme. But she didn't got me so much ass. No lie. No cap. But that, I'm just going to keep it like that. She broke, broke, broke ice for me to get so much ass. I had, all I had to do was capitalize. But anyway... How it usually worked was she'll bring them over and they'll like what they see or whatever, and it'll go from there. They'll be like, oh, you got a nice look. You know what I'm saying? You're real handsome. You, you sexy as fuck. Whatever. They, they'll saying shit like that along them lines, feeling on me and shit. And then the whole time this shit was going on, dudes was mugging this time. Dudes was like mugging. Like they wasn't even, they was rocking a little bit, but they were mugging, bro. I'm like mugging. And but like, when, when one songs came on, bro, like certain songs came on, they was turning up like to the point where like they was speaking the words a little too hard. Like when it came to that uh, when it came to that that meat meal, talking about some. If you ain't about that murder game, the pussy nigga shut up. You be all like, bro. And they, they were looking dead at us when they said that shit. I was like, okay, like look like it's about to be a little problem out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of got like a little signs, but they weren't really. You know, what I'm saying? when people be turning up, you gotta be watching them because like people will use the words to diss you while they while they turning up type shit. So you, you gotta be keep your head on a swivel out of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So we we tax on the girls, I'm guessing that came there for them, and they over there with us, turning up chilling, right? So we end up leaving the club, right? We ended up starting to leave the club. And then I guess the dudes was ending up behind us. They ended up behind us, like they, they ended up coming in the line. I don't know, they, they, they ended up coming up behind us, a little bit behind us after that. 
I don't know how the fuck they ended up behind us because like we go up the stairs, we go two flights of stairs. And I guess we was wait. Oh yeah, I know what it was. She was looking in her purse. I'm guessing that she felt like she forgot some shit. So we had to stay at the beginning of the club. And they ended up catching up with us, right? So the other dude came by and told my boy, like, she don't deserve you don't deserve because I guess it, I'm guessing he's thinking that. I'm guessing he's thinking that uh my friend was his girl or some shit like that. So he was trying to star some shit. So what I'm thinking is the girls that they knew wasn't re- that they they just knew them, but they wasn't really into it with them. You know what I'm saying? They they wasn't they didn't really have no plans for those females. They just knew them and they were like, okay, we going here tonight, and, and that was it. It ain't like they spent like some time and the girl actually liked them and they was like, okay, we we find a triple date or some shit like that. No, it wasn't like that. They was inviting them there, hoping to get some ass. So that's what that's what it really was. That's what it really turned out to be good. That's what the treatment he was giving them. They wasn't really grinding on them or none of that shit. They it looked like they was still trying to sow a seed while they was in the club. I'm like, man, I thought the ice was already broken. You know what I'm saying? But even other dudes, they wasn't really doing much. His shit was looking like, okay, you invite us here. Okay, good. We don't know you guys. Thanks for the invitation, but yeah, stay over there. That's that's the kind of energy they was giving them guys. So when they was looking at us the whole time, that's why I was like, what the fuck going on? Ain't they here with them? So anyway, when I was out there, I know this shit taking a little while to get along, but I want to give y'all every detail of the shit that led up to this shit because, bro, you, that, this is the kind of shit you got to look at, look out for. You got to keep your head on the swivel out here. Trust me, guys. If you don't, it's a lot of these signs you will fucking miss and think you all right. And shit ain't all right, especially where I'm from, <laughs> especially where I'm from, where I live currently, where I live. Anyway. We ended up going out. We was outside, okay? They followed us behind us, and he's, okay? The dude said something to my boy, said, oh, you don't deserve no girl like that. You, you don't deserve... He, he was like, what's up with that shit? Because my boy wasn't with that shit. He kind of a quiet dude, but he turned up, too. He'll turn up with me. He'll turn up with people he know, but he don't, you know, you don't, you don't fuck with people he don't know like that. So when dude said that shit to him, he turned up. He was like, hey, what's up with that shit? You know what I'm saying? What, what you got to say? What's up with that? And the other dude, other three dudes ended up trying to walk up to him. He was, like, backing up in the street, right? See, this, like, the line was still swole. We are walking out. The line was still swole because, you know what I'm saying, it was, like, around, like, two hours after we got it. We, we only turned up for about two hours, but we, we, want, we don't like to stay there when the club let out because it'd be too many motherfuckers and too many problems and too many people trying to go upstairs at the same time. So we tried to beat that rush out the club, but it was still people trying to come in. So people was holding their phones out with iPhone, like, you on some world star shit. On some world star shit, looking like, bro, like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm looking, but you would have thought I was out. You would have thought I we was at a football game or uh, a wrestling. You know, we see all the phone lights and shit like that. It looked like, what the fuck? All I see was lights, bro, like paparazzi. They was out there, bitch, like the paparazzi. I swear to God. So my dog backing up. I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. This shit ain't finna go down like that. I went out there with my boy. I was like, hey, what, what's up? We finna scrap. But the thing is, in front of the club, it's a police officer right there, two of them. So a nigga wasn't really trying to go too much. I was like, man, what the, what the fuck y'all got going on? Man, the police out here, man, like, we don't give a fuck. I was like, fuck it, then. I don't give a fuck, then. What's up? So I, we, we was about to get, we was about to get on. We was about to get it on. So I, fuck, I, I ain't care. But my thing is, I'm going to let them swing first, so I have a reason to whoop his ass. You feel what I'm saying? I, I would have had a reason to whoop his ass. But whatever. So I guess the, 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 the situation ended up diffusing without coming to blows or whatever, because the police was there, and they ended up coming out there. So what happened was, what happened was, I guess she stayed there and then the police was like, okay, y'all got to wait or whatever the fuck. The dudes went off, went off right around the corner, right? So what they did was they ended up pulling right back around, right? They pulled up right back around. I ain't gonna never forget this shit. They were pulling up the cars facing this way. They had the windows open, aiming guns, bro. Aiming guns right at us, bro. Aiming guns right at us, bro. I swear to God, we, we thought we were finna get wet up. I'm telling you, passenger side and back seat had, bro, they was a total, some glo- whatever the fuck they were, they had some pistols aiming out the window. Aiming out the window, the police, everybody in the in the club, and they riding the crowd in the line, ducking and ducking. They're like, oh my God, oh shit, oh my God, oh. Oh, the lights was just going across like, like, like fucking laser beams and shit. It wasn't, it wasn't, they had no sight, they ain't had no beams on this shit, but they were just aiming that shit out the gun. They, they were all, people running around, ducking, and whatever the fuck, bro. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Bro, like, but but at the same time, I was on some hope man shit because I didn't really, I didn't really care. Like, I was like, what the fuck going on? So all this because they girls that they wanted or they felt offended, so they felt like they can get one up on my boy because of what happened in the club. See, this is how this all ties up together, being handsome and select. When the girls choose on on you, they're gonna get jealous. Straight up, they're gonna get jealous on you. They was mean mugging the whole time. They probably already had this shit planned. Oh, I'm gonna try, bro. Fuck this shit. 
I'm a try whatever. They was they were mad at because my boy was grinding on one of the girls. So they that's why they didn't really come at me like that because I mean the girl was talking to me, she was feeling on me and shit. But he was over there doing like the most, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm sitting there with my friends, so my friend was dancing with her and all that shit. We know we, that's how we do the shit. Like she we she get the girls and we end up going down, we hang out, and then we end up going pimping it to her house and we end up getting it on and we split off. Man, it's been so many times she didn't got me so much ass. I ain't go, <laughs> bro, <Bruh, bruh. laughs> But she didn't got me so much ass, bro. No cap. But anyway, anyway, that's why I got so many stories for y'all boys. But anyway, bro, that's how dangerous this shit could be, though. On, on a real, on some real shit. That's how dangerous this shit can be, bro. We could have got wet up that night, straight up. They were aiming right at, it, and we couldn't go nowhere. Even if I would have ducked, that first shot would have caught my ass, straight up. And, and a few others. And a few others. So that's really the real reason they probably wouldn't have did that shit. But at the same time, them boy was that mad that they that the fact that they even aimed the gun. The police could have just shot right at their ass too. The police was ducking, they had their guns out on the side of the car. They was down taking cover. So what the fuck was I gonna do? I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there dead up like a motherfucker that ain't caught lacking. You don't just like bro with uh on ATL when he got caught with that chocolate milk. Hey, what you going, bro? Where you going, bro? Straight up. That shit can be dangerous, guys. That shit can be real, real dangerous. But anyway, I don't want to stretch the story out no further than that. That's basically what happened. Your boy almost got shot up, straight up. Could it, it, it could have happened that way, but it is what it is. But it, it, is, it is what it is. But let's just say that things have been handled and things are think things are straight now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I have to worry about nobody coming after me or none of that shit, none of that. Because if that was the case, I would already been gone or whatever i would already been had some scars or any more occurrences or something like that so ain't nobody after me i ain't got no wops <laughs> not that i know of but not not on that level but anyway it's your boy Noto coming to you with another video coming to you with more content man and if you're new here go ahead and click that like button go ahead and comment go ahead and subscribe click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i, clock, whenever I drop a video man if you're enjoying the content, man, I appreciate you guys for the feedback. Going to keep giving me feedback in the comments, and I'm going to keep getting it going, man. Do ball. It's your boy, man. Remember, anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it. I'm out.